Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today I wanted to take a real quick look at this Chewy High Box Hero Mini PC. And it is dual boot, has Android and Windows. Pretty neat. And just to note, before we really get this party started, this was provided to me by GearBest for purpose of review and unboxing. A link will be in the description if you choose to check this out. You don't have to, but hey, this is just going to be my unbiased opinion on this device. So as we're looking at her, you know, we have all our standard plugs and whatnot. She does have Wi-Fi, one USB 3.0, and then a couple standard USBs. You can put a SD card in there to expand your memory. All that good stuff. Pretty neat. When you first boot her up, you're given an option, Android or Windows. Whatever you initially boot it up in will just be the default if you don't choose anything. So I decided I wanted to test a few things, mostly gaming, just to see what this thing could do. I don't really have high expectations, but I did set up LaunchBox with BigBox on this device. And I do want to say LaunchBox, going through the menus and whatnot, very slick and fast and easy. Big box, she does, you know, have a, a slight stutter. Not not too crazy, but it is a little more sluggish going through big box. And looking at some of these systems, GameCube and Wii, don't look forward to being able to play those on this system. I just simply tested them out to see if I could get these games to run. And yes, these newer games, I can get them to run, but just at a very low frame rate to where almost not playable. There are some Wii games and some GameCube games that will run, but for the most part, the, the higher graphical intense games will not run very quick. M pretty much anything I threw at it through Arcade and MAME worked and worked very well. Going through my Windows, my Steam library, it's just really going to depend. Like Bendy and the Ink Machine, for example, you can play that on low settings, Rocket League at low settings. Some things surprise me that they, they don't run well, but a lot of your older games will run. Like I said, this box isn't necessarily meant for gaming, but that's what I wanted to test with it. This is more of a, a you know, if you want to do some basic Windows operations, maybe you just want to go online, watch videos, stuff like that, you know, maybe do some documents and... You know, some basic computing needs. Or if you wanted to go through Android and, you know, set it up as a media player, it does function well with that. Here, the best I'm getting as far as gaming goes, which is, is good in my opinion, is Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64, pretty much everything I've thrown at it has run well enough to be playable. There really hasn't been too much in the way of, of graphical glitches or anything like that that I've noticed so far. And here I just, you know, I booted up Banjo-Kazooie uh, and then I do test uh, Goldeneye for a quick moment. But, like I said, this is just going to be a quick look at this device, so I'm not going to go through a bunch of games at the moment. But pretty much anything Nintendo 64 I threw at it functioned just fine. PlayStation, the same thing. The, the PS1 anyway. Dreamcast, uh, you know, the, the, the playability was better than the Raspberry Pi, but there were still some issues here and there. So I would say if you're looking for this device or this is something that interests you and you want to use it for gaming, which like I said is not necessarily what it's meant for, you can do up to Nintendo 64 just fine. Obviously any of your old school stuff, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, all that stuff's going to function great. Nintendo 64, awesome. PlayStation, the same. But if you're looking for PS2 or Dreamcast, GameCube, or Wii, you're not going to get that out of this device. I'm just being honest with you. So, you know, this this device through GearBest typically is going to run around 100 bucks, Maybe a little more, 120 or so. And they do have sales all the time, so you can keep the tabs on that and coupon codes and I'll put some links in the description if you want to take a look at that but the other thing you could do like I said is you could use Android and she does have Android 5.1 and this is running in Windows 10 but some of the features of the device she does have an Intel Atom X5 Z8 350 quad-core CPU not too bad 
your your benchmark is not going to be very high for this device. She does have Intel HD graphics integrated. You do have Wi-Fi, so that's definitely nice. You do have an Ethernet port. You do have SD card capabilities. She has four gigs of, of DDR3 RAM, 64 gigabytes of, of uh, disk space for you to use, which is not going to be very much. So if you want to set this up as like a streaming device, that's great. If you want to load up a bunch of games, you're going to have to expand your memory, either through SD card or attach an external hard drive. So I'm just showing here, for example, this is one game that I'm kind of surprised doesn't run as well as it should. But this is Dead Cells. Dead Cells, as you saw, it kind of had some stutter here and there. Kind of odd for a 2D game, but it is a newer game, so there might be something going on with it. I did not mess with any settings on that game. And here I'm just showing, you know, boot it up. I didn't really mess with Android so much, but I know a lot of people will like to use Android for, for their gaming needs and for, you know, media streaming and all that. So I have not yet really messed with the Android side of this. If you guys want to see something in particular using Android, let me know. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that. I'll post another video down the, down the line, maybe within a few days after I've had more time with this. I've been spending a lot of time testing games. Kind of got, you know, it, it got kind of overcomplicated when I'm just trying to get this video done. So that's why I didn't really touch Android so much. But if you guys throw a comment out there, let me know what you would like to see me try through Android. I'll be more than happy to, to hook that up and see what we can do. But like I said, this was sponsored by GearBest. This device, not really a gaming machine, but you can get some basic gaming out of it. Going to run you 100, 120 bucks. Link will be in the description. Appreciate you guys watching. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll catch you all next time. Boom!